Here we are, alive and in the garden for another update. And uh, we're going to take a look at the cookie dough and see what we're going to do today here. Uh, as you can see, the Tipsy Trippin' Rednecks cookie dough is doing very, very well. Uh, it's day 17 now. And um, it's time for transplant. Now, let's see if I can... Oh, first, let's go through the procedure. Okay, so this is a 10 gallon fabric pot. I use a knife pretty well to just cut out around the same size of uh, as the pot there into the uh, used coir. Um, I try not to disturb the rest of it, just leave the rest of the roots as is. I did that before and it seemed like it was a real benefit. So let's move over and see what we got to do here for our transplant. Now, of course, uh, not too much happens in my garden without recharge, and especially transplants. So, what I'd like to do grab a little scoop there, and I try to even get it onto the sides of the wall here. As you can see, there's a little bit of dust. It smells awesome. It smells like kelp and molasses. Love it. Okay. Let's get that lid back on my container here. Uh, by the way, if you uh, do have one of these uh, recharge containers around, uh, definitely do keep it. Uh, the new ones do come in the bag, and uh, I keep my old containers. All right, let's move over and take a look now and see how the girl's doing. And I've loosened this up already. I should be able to just pull it out gently. Here we go. And there's our nice little mass of roots here. This is right about where I like to transplant. Um, yeah, pretty well dead on. Maybe a little tiny bit earlier, that's about it. And as you can see, it just slides nicely down into that hole there. And you can see there's a little, a little gap there around. Um, I didn't bring in the bag with me. But anyway, what I'll do there is just take some, uh, some of the used coir that came out. I'll chop it all up there and Stuff it down in that little hole, fill in that gap. Okay, and I'm not even going to cut for this. I'm just going to set you all right here. Look at my plant for about 10 seconds while I run down the hall. Okay, now that I'm back, <laughs> I'll show you what I got here. Now these are basically, like I said, they're slices of, uh, of what came out of there. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just break it up a little bit and stick it down inside the hole there. Oh, sorry for the bad camera moves there. And we'll go around to this side here. It is tapered, so uh, near the bottom it is definitely a lot, uh, a lot tighter. And uh, there we go for a transplant. And what I'm going to do now is, again, put the camera up here a little bit. So I'm going to hold on to the plant here while I water it without getting the leaves all saturated. Now this pot was fairly dry so um, I am just pouring around the, the perimeter. Uh, it will just
just run in there anyway. And this is uh, Remo Nutrients at five millimeter, five milliliters per gallon. And for this right here, we're only going to use uh, about a liter of water for now, and I'll let that uh, let that set, and I'll let it stretch out uh, the root system there. And then we should be good. We should start seeing some uh, nice growth, I would say, within a week or so. Well, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already, go check out Tipsy and Trippin' Rednecks. They are freaking awesome. And, uh, oh yes, definitely don't forget to do grows. Now you can step on over there and become a member uh, if you wish. All times of... Uh, Awesome grow information and just a bunch of awesome people. Oh, thank you so much for now. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.